EW Games just showed off a quick little update when it comes to the game, and we got our first hand look at Jungle Boy. We're gonna go and deep dive the footage and the breakdown for everything about it right now. You ever go to Starbucks and you you try something new? It's such a gamble. Like I go in there and I don't even know what this thing is. It's some sort of oatmeal espresso. I'm not a complicated guy. I like to go in there and usually just get my my black coffee. And the odd time I get like that the cold brew, like it's a nice day out, it's sunny outside. I thought, ah, oh, what the heck? I'll, I'll you know what? I will try something on the menu. To Jim, I was standing behind the counter. I don't know, man. But now I gotta drink it. Like six dollars. It's not that it's bad, it's just, I don't know. Stay in my lane, that's the lesson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Assemble. I'm Matt, great to have you here on the show today. Yes, we are breaking down Jungle Boy. They showed it off in their most recent update where it was hosted by Ali the Bunny as well as Aubrey Edwards going through the uh, actual game, the GM mode game that they have giving you the updates. We're getting the Summer of Punk, which is really, really cool. It will be a paid add-on content that will be coming out for the GM mode app mobile game. That looks pretty cool. I do enjoy the mobile game, and I'm glad to see that they are doing a lot of different steps to be able to push the mobile game a little bit further, give us more updates, new superstars coming, new updates to attires, and a slew of more updates. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below if you guys want to check out more about the mobile game itself. Now, what I got really excited about was that at the end, Jungle Boy came and just sat down and then Evil Uno introduced it too and they were going through and they showed off some gameplay footage for the AEW console game with Jungle Boy. And it was Jungle Boy going up against Darby Allen. Taking a look at Jungle Boy's render detail of his actual character model, I think that they've done a really good job with this. Very similar, obviously, to the render that we saw of Darby Allen in the first reveal, but I love the attention to detail when it comes to, uh, you know, his wrists, his actual trunks, his boots, and his character model actually does look pretty good. The face details and the facial animations are a little bit on like the washed outside and they're kind of muted, but I think it's okay. I mean, honestly, if they're showing off a character for an AEW game, something that is still in pre-development and going through the development stage right now, I'm still pretty impressed that the character model looks this good and it's kind of in pre-production stage. Now, the one thing I want to pause and actually note here is going to be Jungle Boy's intro when he's on the ramp. And we do get a little bit of information there with his actual name, his Twitter handle, and it actually says his singles record, his 2021 singles record, and it shows it as O and O. The reason why I want to highlight this to everybody is that this could mean that they are going to integrate the ranking system that AEW is known for, and they might be actually bringing this into the game itself. That would be really, really cool if they adopted the ranking system within the game. Because we've had in the WWE games, we've had like the power ranks, right? And they haven't really meant anything other than we've just power ranked these stars based on how they're doing maybe in our universe mode or in our GM mode. But it'd be neat to see if AEW is going to do something different with the console game here. Yes, I know that we're not going to get a GM mode in the AEW console game, but if they do something like a championship mode or we get a survival mode or we're going to get a season mode or something like that, it'd be really neat if they are going to integrate the actual win-loss record system. Maybe it could actually be going hand in hand with the live rankings that they have for the stars in AEW so that if we get Jungle Boy's current record, maybe they would actually integrate it live through the game itself so we get those live updates. So even if we have a slimmed down version of maybe like a season mode or something in AEW game, at least we could actually go with the rankings and the current rankings if we wanted to, to pin certain superstars against each other. I think it's a really cool integrated system and I think it'd be really, really neat if AEW could figure out getting that actual feature with live updates from the current live product and putting it in the, into the game by getting it constantly online with updates. The demo that we got and the actual visual presentation of Jungle Boy hitting his moves on Darby Allen, where he's flipping across the ropes and where they're actually gonna have Darby do a reversal and Jungle Boy takes him out with a clothesline. We see things like the taunt animation too. Jungle Boy doesn't have his hand all the way touching to his forehead when he is actually gonna be doing it where he looks into the crowd. It's a little bit further away. And again, this is pre-rendered development footage, so they can touch these things up 
as they go. What I thought was really good was how the animations were done. And I love, and I love, love, love the camera work that they have done with this for these animations. Like we saw with Darby Allen's reveal, same with Jungle Boy when they're gonna hit bigger moves. Like when Jungle Boy is actually doing the springboard DDT over the ropes onto Darby Allen. I love that we get a camera cut to that. So it's closed up on Jungle Boy. Same when he actually did the move on the top rope. I like that they are actually switching it up. This could just be for the actual pre-rendered footage that they're actually showcasing, but I like the idea that when they have stars using kind of their bigger moves and they're more of their signature moves from their move set, that the camera would actually pan and change. And then I really wanna know how they would integrate any type of reversal system into the game. The crowd animations aren't terribly detailed in this little snippet that we got here, where you can see some of the same rendered crowd animations are still there and they're multiplied and that's okay. The one thing that I did really like though with seeing this, and it, it probably was the exact same when it came to the Darby Allen reveal, is I love the stage and the lighting that they have with the camera angles and camera shots that they have because we have that camera turned like we had in the old, uh, like Here Comes the Pain games and all of those and the WWE games. I like that we're actually getting a different camera angle where you can see a bit of the stage. And what I like is that we're getting more of the lights glowing from the stage entrance ramps. You're getting that nice, nice little LED pop where it's going back and forth a little bit glowing. It adds a little bit more color because otherwise I think it would be very flat with it just being kind of like gray canvas and the black ropes and the black border around on the barricade. What I would love to see coming up is obviously they're going to want to reveal more star renders. So we can get more talent on there so we can see them, which is great. But I would love them to show us something like tag team or being able to show us three to four stars in the ring at once. They probably won't and they'll probably stick with just going one to one. Right now they have two stars that are in a match together that are about the exact same size too. So I'd like to also know what it will look like and feel like when they get a star like you've got Luchasaurus who's gonna be really big taking on a Darby Allen that is gonna be much smaller. It'll be interesting to see when they do superstars that are gonna be different heights and sizes, if there's weight detection, how that will work, and kind of what are the counters gonna to be to all of that. What did you all think of Jungle Boy's reveal here in the game? I love that we're getting more and more footage as we go, and it feels like based off of this little episode that they did for the AEW Games show, where they showed off not only the GM mobile app game, but where they showed off the AEW Games itself to give us a little sneak peek at Jungle Boy. I like that they're doing it. I like that they're doing it this way. We actually get some indicators that this game is progressing, still pre-rendered stuff. It's not the finalized product by any means, but by showing us every couple of weeks, new stars being added into the game, showcasing them, it's just enough to keep us going. But what I'd love to know next is not only the next number of stars that we're gonna see, but what are they gonna do when it comes to game modes and what to expect there? We still don't have a release date when it comes to the game. We're still hoping out that it's gonna be sometime in you know, early 2022. At this point though, I don't think that we've seen it you know, first quarter of 2022. I think it'd be a little bit further out. But based on what we're seeing right now with a match between Darby Allen and Jungle Boy, it's gonna feel like kind of those older games, those N64 games that we grew up on. And I'm really excited to be able to get my hands on this game when it does come out. Thanks so much for watching everybody in the comments below. Tell Matt here, what do you think of the Jungle Boy? Are you excited for it? What modes do you want to see in the AEW game? Every single time that they're going to do a new update when it comes to the AEW console game, I will have the coverage for you right here. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, thank you all for assembling with us. See ya. This coffee, I swear to God, like I have to go and throw it out now. It was like six bucks. Like it tastes like a li like liquid oatmeal. Like I took a, an espresso shot and I, I I poured it on my oatmeal. Oh well, that's my day. See ya.